This was nothing but weeds. When Claire Golden bought a 1920s Mediterranean bungalow after her husband, J.W., passed away, she saw the potential of its mission-style courtyard. Inspired by trips to Mexico with J.W., she asked architect Don B. McDonald to give it credence. It is, to me, what you feel like when you're in Mexico and what you see. It's, um, his vision was captivating the true essence of what this Puebla, little Puebla, is. And he enhanced it. This whole thing started with the palm trees, the water, and the water there. And right now I have Charles Bartlett from Greenhaven Landscape and Albert Del Rio who come and treat me like family. Don terraced the long narrow slope into a series of rooms bisected with a miniature aqueduct. And I think water and plants are a perfect, perfect soothing combination. Inspiring, really. I mean, you listen to this, and even if it's hot, even if the sun is blaring, as it will today, if the water gives you a sense of traveling to different parts of the world, does it not? In the central patio near the house, an inset recirculating fountain invites conversational lingering, even in summer's heat. One of Dawn's house restoration projects was a loggia, inspired by Claire's daughter, Sally Golden, a builder and designer in Aspen. When Claire and her guests head indoors, the garden frames their view over dinner. To define cozy destinations outdoors, Dawn added low walls. One room sets off the old fireplace. Although intimate, each room offers views to the others, perfect for entertaining, as Claire often does, in her civic and arts community involvement. You can sit back and converse and still hail a friend to join you. Flooring unites the rooms. I was given the limestone rock and the brick from the contractor who was working downtown and there was a building there that had just been knocked down and he wanted it out, all the brick and the, and the limestone out of the way. So he said, if you pay to have it delivered, it's yours. A pergola entwined with many vines that flower across the year offers a ceiling of shade. One fun room that Don built adds quite another dimension. It's the martini or margarita bar. And you open that up and it's full of all the Mexican uh, where and all the margarita adornments that go in a bar. So the pool is the margarita pool. Claire embraces each viewpoint with plants that attract wildlife while softening and cooling the stonework. Plants that are not invasive, I think that, and plants that complement the Pueblo idea or the Southern comfort look. And today, I'm still taking out bananas this year and redoing areas that have been a problem or have overgrown. And it's like changing your clothes. You change a little bit each year a little bit, you change your hair. So you see things, hopefully you see things in a refreshing look and beautiful accompaniment to water and house and land. If your vision is governed by beauty or artistic spaces, that's what you do, I think. I mean, I change it gradually. I see something each year, or as the days go on, I'll see something that possibly could be added or eliminated. It's elimination is the key. Overdoing is not 
something that helps either dressing or gardening, in my estimation. The pears that she's espaliered add just that simple touch to the courtyard's walls, even though it's not quite enough light. But they've done just what I want them to do. And this is a perfect backdrop, I think, for simplicity and yet significant plants that form art in the garden. After Claire found the perfect sconces in a junk sale, Dawn had an artist copy them. The beauty of them is the way they were designed to hang from the serpent. Many of Claire's accents were lucky finds with a perceptive eye. Dawn's courtyard doors are reminiscent of historic missions. In front, Claire kept the original terracing that offers expansive views on the sloping property. You see a scale of oaks and trees that are worthy of staying on the porch at night and looking out and hearing the birds. But quickly, she renovated the ugly drainage ditch along the front turning it into a recirculating stream to catch runoff from the street. Her first call was to Carlos Cortez, a faux bois concrete artisan for a bridge he had designed. Appreciative wildlife visit daily. They like water no matter what, but they're unselective as to which mosquitoes I let in. Carlos Cortez designed the faux bois furniture that hosts many a gathering in the serene outdoor foyer. If you have a house that's expressing beauty, then you try to captivate that and not take away the beauty, but add what little, <laughs> what little vision that is in your head and eyes and heart to plant to enhance it rather than overwhelm it. 